really moved by the fact that this garden was built as a legacy, it was built to be shared. And all these years later, Henry's vision is being shared. I mean, for me, a really important part of Genius is the idea of the journey that's been designed around the garden. For me, the, the genius of Stourhead uh, lies in the fact that we have this amazing landscape, so we have the landscape gardens and the estate beyond, and then we have this house that was a really innovative design when it was built, and the house is packed to the rafters with art and beautiful objects from all over the world, and yet right at the heart of Stourhead for me is this real fe feeling of sort of community and, and family. And I think you can go to all sorts of amazing country properties that have a wealth of art like we do, but they don't seem to have this atmosphere of, of welcome that Stourhead has, and that for me really is the, is the genius of Stourhead. So it's a privilege to work here and I've been coming four years and even now I'm particularly with opening up the views um, you see things you've never seen before and you're just sort of wandering along and suddenly you're taken by a view that uh, has been opened up or a change in the season has opened it up and it's uh, striking, inspiring. Little delicate flowers that have um survive temperatures in South Africa and look as fresh as fresh when they, they open and they give our visitors great pleasure um, they walk into the display house and uh, there in front of them is a whole uh, a shelf the whole, running the whole length of the greenhouse with every possible colour, leaf uh, and even scent too so um, it is a great pleasure to be part of that genius, even if it's only just one little bit. When people come to Stourhead, they have to be allowed to be free to have an adventure. They have to go on this kind of voyage of discovery and to see things and to find out things and to really start to enjoy it. I think when that happens, what, what happens in their minds is they begin, without knowing it, to understand what I would call and other people call the spirit of the place. And that starts to get to them. And it's that which gives them that sense of adventure, that sense of enjoyment, that sense of wow, when beginning to sort of feel part of the place. And that's really, really exciting. And I don't think we should stop people feeling that way. I want people just to have a, a, a kind of relationship with it in some way that, that just moves them spiritually or personally.